Hey there, uh, uh, ladies, gentlemen, members of the press. Uh, sorry about the delay there. Uh, it's just a little bit of last minute strategizing, you know, certainly no blame panic behind the scenes. <laughs> um, uh, uh, anyway, uh, in response to the public's increasingly fervent demands for a healthcare, human dignity, and an end to war and strife, your government is happy to announce we are getting a Mexit! A mech suit. Yes! As in an enormous piloted robot suit of the kind popularized in anime and manga. Yep! I think I speak for the majority when I ask... Why? Well, what with all the violence being perpetrated around the world, mostly by our allies, we are aware of the public's desire for a human solution to global tensions. Right? So we thought we'd pick the most human-looking solution we could! A mech suit! Because it looks like people do. Does the government actually think that this mech suit is an appropriate use of its resources? Yes! Think about it! Deploying one mech suit into the field would allow it to do the work of 200,000 thugs hopped up on violent nationalism. Or at least it will once we have built these state-of-the-art launching facilities and trained the next generation of mech suit pilots from adolescence. And that very human-sounding program will be a cost-saving to our defence budget? Look, you can't put a price on freedom, safety, or mineral rights, especially when it comes to preserving the lives of our brave future mech suit pilots. Actually, on that point, how much is the mech suit itself going to cost? Well, it's 35 billion for the standard model and 42 billion for the peacekeeping model, which is the option we're going with. Peacekeeping model? Yeah, it's basically the same as the standard model, except it comes with one less 30mm Orphan Maker Mark II autocannon, and we get to paint it white. Orphan Maker! Oh, we gotta get those future mech suit pilot candidates from somewhere. What kind of peacekeeping operations require the use of a mech suit, much less one with multiple armaments capable of leveling city blocks? The kind that leaves your enemy in pieces. <laughs> That's pretty good, right? Have that in the brochure where it leaves me in stitches. Ah, no offense to the orphans, obviously. Wait a second, if the only difference between the two models is one less cannon and a lick of white paint, why does the peacekeeping model cost seven billion more? Oh yeah, that's a necessary subsidy to our arms manufacturing industry. After all, we'd hate for them to lose out just because our electorate suddenly cares about war crimes. I mean, those people have families, for goodness sake. We're currently going through a cost of living crisis. There are widespread protests and demonstrations against our military interventions, as well as the flagrant abuse of international law by some of our allies. Your government is facing its lowest ever approval ratings. Do you really think that the taxpayer will be comfortable footing a bill of 42 billion to buy a mech suit come election time? Why? No, that's the leasing price. I just got a dossier leaked to me from a government source confirming that your father-in-law owns the company that manufactures these mech suits. You're all terror sympathizers because you know how to use your phones. 